Okay, so we did this one before, but now we're going to take a look at doing this one a different way. I'll still start off with a rectangle, and this time I will use architectural units. So the first thing I need to do is tell AutoCAD how to use architectural units. The easiest way is to select the drop down here where it says decimal. If you don't see that, click the three bars at the customizing to the side and scroll and put a check next to units. One other option of selecting that is if you type in the word units a dialog box will appear and you can select in the drop down here architectural. Either one of those methods should be acceptable but it's always quicker just to click the fly up and it's going to change you into architectural units. Next, I'll start with a rectangle. I'll click my lower left corner, and now I need to tell it where my upper right corner is. It's one foot, four, and you can put the quotation symbol at the end. It's strictly optional. AutoCAD knows that the numbers after the foot symbol will be inches, comma, one foot, four then select the enter button. You will see now that you have a rectangle that is created at that distance. Next thing I want to use is the offset command and according to my drawing it says it's three inches to the inside of this. So referring back to the drawing you can see that I'm going to use the three inches that is located here to offset this circle, well, I'm sorry that rectangle and then I'm going to use another offset of one half to get my inside rectangle. And I'll also show you how I will come up with a square that's for my circles. Okay, so let's switch back to AutoCAD and see how to do this. Okay, so with the offset command selected, you always want to type in a distance first. In this case, it's going to be three. Or you need to specify a distance instead of typing in one. But in this case, it's three. Select your square, and then make sure you click anywhere to the inside. So one left click, and then escape out of the command. Go back to offset. You can type in one divided by two, and that's going to be our one half. Enter. Select the inside square, and then click to the inside, and escape. Now to locate the center points for my circle, I'll also use offset. Type in 1 minus 1 divided by 2. And the reason that minus is in between there, that separates the inches from the lower inches. So these are the micro inches of it. Enter. I want you to select your outside square and then click one time to the inside. Let's place our circle that has a diameter of 1 minus 1 divided by 2. Yep, I didn't specify the center. Let me try that once again. So circle, center diameter. Click here as my center. And then I will type in the 1 minus 1 divided by 2. Let's go back to the circle center diameter command again. Select this endpoint. Hit the in enter button. And now I'll just speed through the rest of them. I'll just hit enter. That takes me back to the last command. Select this as my center point. And then hit the enter key again. Okay, so hit the enter key. Take me back to the last command. Select the center point, And then hit the enter button. Go ahead and delete your square that located your centers for your circles and then you should have this one completed.